So this is probably going to be a shorter video. I'm working in the color world and I have the idea to make a RGB block. And several hours of wasted time later, here it is. So here's a single block with a little over 1500 colors on it. It goes from black to white. This represents, you know, this entire space if it was just a cube. So thinking about textures, I thought it was interesting that if you took this block and averaged out all the colors on all six sides, it would be in the middle of this space. So that got me thinking, what's the most average block we have in the game color-wise? And big surprise, it's cobblestone. Uh, <laughs> very interesting to think that color-wise, this block averages out to the same color as this block here. And no, in, in, and in this world, normally I'm just looking at a single face, not taking all six sides in, into consideration because you don't really do that when you're building. But um, like if you looked at each facet, each side of this, like if the bottom was averaged out, you'd end up with like a block that's in the middle of this bottom and each side would end up being like on the extreme like edge here. But I also wanted to mess around with uh, display entities. I haven't really done that yet. I'm looking forward to using them in the geology world. So I have one summoned here. If you don't know what these are, they're like a block, but they're an entity. So you can they have no collision. And then you can do things to them like this. And we can fill in the entire space uh, here. I can actually add my primary colors back. Let's add primary colors. Yeah. So then we have the corners here. You can kind of see how this space fills up this whole area. But just kind of a, well, not even kind of. It's a waste of time. But I thought it was fun to, to look at and everything. So I'm going to shrink this back down. So a lot of commenters on the previous color video stated that I should do this in HSL or HSV, which are other three ways of representing colors in a 3D space. And I absolutely agree. This was like the easy way to do things. And um, I'm going to be releasing those videos probably uh, relatively soon. Um, and some other commenters said that those really aren't very good because they're not representative of how the human sees color. It's a representative of how we deal with colors in a computer. And I also agree with that. So um, after I take care of those easier methods, I'm going to be adding an actual like sRGB or uh, uh, there's a couple other types uh, of uh, displaying colors in a more realistic way in 3D that I just have to work out the math behind so I can I can uh, get it into a command block and, and do all that. But I'll be doing that in the future. And one last thing, I'm getting dangerously close to closing in on 10K subs, which is ridiculous considering that I was only at like 200 subs like less than a month ago. But um, I'm th thrilled by it and I wanted to do a special video f commemorating that and... I have some ideas myself, but I was looking to see if you guys have any ideas, things that you would like to see me do or suggestions for a uh, subscriber 10K video. Thanks, guys. Just messing around with stuff, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.